Hey everyone, I'm back with another AP Statistics video, and today we're going to be talking about R squared, which is the coefficient of determination. Alright, so what is it? Simply put, it's a measure of how much the variation in the dependent variable, or your the y variable, can be explained by the independent variable, or your variable on the x-axis. Another way to say it is what percentage of the variation in the data can be explained by the model. In statistics, there are many sources of variations. There's variation due to blocks, there are variations due to treatments, and those are things you want variation in. What you don't want variation in is the error, which is a whole other subject. But the point is, the R squared would tell you how well your model explains the your model or your experiment, whatever, explains the pattern you get. And if that's all confusing, you don't quite understand what that means, don't worry about it, because AP Statistics does not care if you know where R squared came from. For, but once, but it, but to summarize what it does mean for those of you who do care, it simply just tells you, you know, how well does your X variable explain what's going on in the Y variable? That's all you need to know about it. All right, so it is called R squared for a reason. It is literally squaring the correlation coefficient which I've covered in a previous video, and if you want to take a look at that, go ahead and click on the link below. But if you, but aside from that, let's just talk about how to do, or how to calculate the correlation, the coefficient of determination. As it is called r squared, we simply square r, which is the correlation coefficient. So, let's say our r is equal to 0.95. Well, the coefficient of determination would simply be equal to r squared. So 0.95, which is equal to r squared, is 0.9025. And that 0 0.9025 is our coefficient of determination. And the most important thing AP Statistics wants you to know is not even how to calculate it, but how to interpret it. The most important thing you need to know about the coefficient of determination, R squared, is how to interpret it. And I'm going to show you how to do that right now. Let's say you have two variables. Your income is your x variable, or your independent variable. And, your free, and on the y-axis, you have your frequency of McDonald's visits. That's your dependent variable, right? And we get an r-squared value of 0.8246. And all AP Statistics wants you to know is how to interpret that. Well, how do you interpret that? Simple. You convert it to a percentage and say the following. 82.46% of the variation in frequency of McDonald's visits can be explained by the independent variable income. This standard format is all you need to know about how to interpret the co coefficient of determination. 82.46% of the variation in the y variable can be explained by the independent variable. So whatever r squared is, you just plug it into the percentage value, right? And you say whatever percentage of variation in the y variable can be explained by the independent variable. All you need to do is memorize this format, plug in your r squared value, and you are golden. This is all AP Statistics really wants you to know about the coefficient of determination. With that said, if you want to know more about it, send, it, send us a message or a comment, and I'll happily tell you more about it. We'll talk for days about it. But aside from that, that's all AP Statistics wants you to know about, know about the coefficient of determination. 